Hi everyone and welcome back to Jay's Virtual Pub Quiz channel. Thank you very much for joining us. Today sees the beginning of the return of the specialist quizzes. And it's quite a special one, this one. A few people have asked if we're going to be doing something around this. Uh, so we've teamed up with the guys at the Big Learner Driver Relay and also Children in Need uh, for this specialist quiz. So the guys at Big Learner Relay what they normally do is they go, they take the, the, you know, the big boxes that you find on learner vehicles. So they've got a pudsy top box. And what they normally do is they drive that around the country over 3000 miles in two weeks. They cover going to 190 different locations in a big convoy with uh, with all the learner drivers and they pass it from vehicle to vehicle. You can't miss the cars. They're all liveried up with the pudsy spots. and They've even got waving pudsy stickers and everything. Uh, obviously, they can't do that this year. So we've teamed up with them to bring a specialist quiz. So it's all about driving. Uh, but don't worry, the true or false questions. So I'm not going to ask you, you know, which sort of how much do you get fined for doing this, that or the other in China or anything like that. So it's a nice, simple quiz, true or false, and a bit of fun to reinstate some of the uh, specialist quizzes. And like I say, delighted to be working with the Children in Need and the guys at Big Learner Relay. So all you need to do if you've not played one of these before, grab yourselves a pen and a piece of paper, write your answers down and we'll give you the answers at the end of the video. That's it. Nice and simple. So let's get into this then. So just before I do, uh, the link is down below for um, to take you to our Just Giving page for this as well. Uh, right now, let's get into it. So number one, around the world then for number one. So in China. It is illegal to stop for pedestrians. Is that true or false? So in China, it is illegal to stop for pedestrians. True or false? Number two, it is illegal to travel topless in Thailand. So it is illegal to travel topless in, in the Thailand, as I put on the slide. So is that true or false? Number three, there's a few from the US because their rules are crazy. But in California, it is illegal to jump from a car traveling at 60 miles an hour. Is that true or false? Number four, in California, so we're still in California, is it, it no, start again. In California, it is illegal for an unoccupied vehicle to exceed 60 miles an hour. So in California, it is illegal for an unoccupied vehicle to exceed 60 miles an hour. Number five, in Massachusetts, it is legal to drive with a gorilla in the back seat of the car. So in Massachusetts, it is legal to drive with a gorilla in the back seat of the car. Number six, in France, it is a legal requirement to carry your own breathalyzer. So is that true or false? In France, it is a legal requirement to carry your own breathalyzer. Number seven, in Germany, it is illegal to stop or break down on the autobahn. So in Germany, it is illegal to stop or break down on the autobahn. For those of you who don't know what the autobahn is, the autobahn is the motorway in Germany. Number eight, in Switzerland, it is legal for you to wash your car on a Sunday. So 
true or false in switzerland it is legal for you to wash your car on a sunday Number nine, in Denmark, it is a legal requirement for you to check for children hiding under your car before starting a journey. So true or false, in Denmark, it is a legal requirement for you to check for children hiding under your car before starting a journey. And finally, number 10, let's return to the US for another one of uh, their rules, or is it a rule? Number 10, in Maine, you can't park in front of a Dunkin' Donuts. So in Maine, you can't park in front of a Dunkin' Donuts. Okay, so I've got finally then I've got 10 questions on the UK rules. So these are some some rules and maybe not some rules. Some of them are true. Some of them are false that I found around the UK. Here we go. Number one. So number one, driving too slowly can lead to a £100 fine. So driving too slowly can lead to a £100 fine. Number two, splashing pedestrians isn't against the law in the UK. So splashing pedestrians isn't against the law in the UK. Number three, warning others about a speed camera up ahead could lead to a £1,000 fine. So warning others about a speed camera up ahead could lead to a £1,000 fine. Number four, having snow on your roof won't lead to a fine. True or false? So having snow on your roof won't lead to a fine. Number five, it is, it is, I'll start again. It is illegal to use your phone to pay for goods at a drive through so it is it is sorry it is legal to use your phone to pay for goods at a drive through is that true or false number 6 leaving your vehicle running unnecessarily could land you with a fine so leaving your vehicle running unnecessarily could land you with a fine. True or false? Number seven, it is illegal to make a profit by giving someone a lift. So it is illegal to make a profit by giving someone a lift. Is that true or false? Number eight, it is legal to enter a bus lane to move out of the way for oncoming emergency services. So it is legal to enter a bus lane to move out of the way for oncoming emergency services.
Number nine, it is illegal to tow a caravan in the outside lane of the motorway. So it is illegal to tow a caravan in the outside lane of the motorway. And finally then, number 10, it is illegal for you to get your pet out of the vehicle when broken down on the hard shoulder. So it is illegal for you to get your pet out of the vehicle when broken down on the hard shoulder. Okay, so um, time for you to just put your answers down as we take a couple of minutes while you get your answers together before we give you those. Um, so here's just a short video from the guys at Big Learner Relay and what they normally do in different times. Every November for the last six years, driving instructors and pupils have come together to pass our Pudsey Top Box from one driving lesson to the next in an epic 2,500 mile journey across England, Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales and Jersey. We are very proud as an industry to have raised just under half a million pounds for BBC Children in Need. BBC Children in Need funds over 3,900 local charities and projects who help support children and young people affected by a range of disadvantages such as poverty, disability, illness, disease or trauma. The corona pandemic is having a huge impact on those already facing challenges. It has never been more important to continue to fundraise for those who provide just a little light in the dark. So although our 2020 relay can't happen, we continue to raise funds with our spotty cars and we are delighted to be supporting BBC Children in Need through tonight's charity quiz. Together with your help, we can support thousands of children and young people change lives thank you so truly great work that they normally do under different circumstances unfortunately this year they've not been able to do it so we're absolutely delighted to link up with themselves and obviously children in need so there is a link in the description as always as you know with our videos um so check it out if you're in a position to help right Let's give you some answers. Let's find out how you did. So we had 20 questions. They were all true or false. Hopefully you're ready to go. If you're not, uh, just pause the video now and you'll be able to. And uh, when you come back, you will we'll go through. OK, here we go. So push the right button. There we go. So round one, as I said, was all around the world. So here were your answers. So number one, in China, it is illegal to stop for pedestrians. It's true. So vehicles have right of way no matter what. Number two, it is, uh, start again, it is legal to travel topless in Thailand. No, that's false. It's, uh, it's illegal to travel topless in Thailand. So number three, in California, it is illegal to jump from a car traveling at 60 miles an hour. That's actually false. It's illegal to jump from a car traveling at 65 miles an hour. Um, yeah, I don't know anyone in their right mind who'd want to leap from any kind of moving vehicle. So uh, number four, so in California, again, it is illegal for an unoccupied vehicle to exceed 60 miles an hour. Now, that's true. So obviously, you know, you can leap out of it at 60 mile an hour, but then you'd be breaking the law for leaving it unoccupied. So 59 miles an hour and then it looks like you're OK to jump out. And number five, in Massachusetts, it is legal to drive with a gorilla in the back seat of the car. That is false. It's actually one of the rules there in Massachusetts. It's written down. It says it is illegal to drive with a gorilla in the back seat of the car. <laughs> Why they needed to write that rule, I don't know. Uh, number six, in France, it is a legal requirement to carry your own breathalyzer. This is true. Uh, it was a, new, a law that was brought in a few years ago that you now have to, if you drive into France, you have to have your own breathalyzer in the car. Number seven, in Germany, it is illegal to stop or break down on the autobahn. That's true. So you not, it's illegal to have a breakdown on their motorway or to stop for any reason. 
Number eight, in Switzerland, it is legal for you to wash your car on a Sunday. That's false. So you're not allowed to wash your car. If you're in Switzerland and you need to get your car cleaned on a Sunday, it's illegal. You're not allowed to do it. Number nine, in Denmark, it is a legal requirement for you to check for children hiding under your car before starting a journey. That's true. Finally, number 10, in Maine, you can't park in front of a Dunkin' Donuts. That is true. So one of the weird rules there over in Maine, you're not allowed to park in front of a Dunkin' Donuts. So the UK rules then, uh, number one, driving too slowly can lead to a hundred pound fine. That's true. If you're driving sort of too slowly that could cause any kind of incident or accident, you could be fined up to a hundred pounds. I didn't know that. Not that I drive too slowly, but I just didn't know. Uh, number two, splashing pedestrians isn't against the law in the UK. Now that is false. It is, it is illegal. Um, it comes under uh, driving without due care, and there's a couple of other ones that it could come up against if you were to be caught splashing somebody. Number three, warning others about a speed camera up ahead could lead to a thousand pound fine. That's true. And again, that's another one I didn't know um, that could land you in hot water. Uh, it comes under the uh, stopping a constable in doing their work law. So yeah, warning others could land you with a very, very heavy fine. Number four, having snow on your roof won't lead to a fine again. That's false. Uh, so again, it comes under all sorts of different rules and regulations. But if you had snow on top of your roof and it fell down and obstructed your... Um, your view, you could end up in trouble. So police can fine you for it. Uh, number five, it is legal to use your phone to pay for goods at a drive-through. Again, that's false. You should not, so according to the law, you're not allowed to use use your handheld device or your mobile device uh, whilst in the vehicle. So use just putting it out and tapping it onto the card reader could be classed as illegal, and you could end up with a fine and some points on your license. Uh, number six, leaving your vehicle running unnecessarily could land you with a fine. That's true. Uh, it doesn't count if you're in traffic, but if you were just on a public road and just left your vehicle running because you wanted to and had no valid reason, you could be landed with a fine. Another one I didn't know. Uh, number seven, it is illegal to make a profit by giving someone a lift. It's true. Because obviously in the UK, you've got the, reg uh, the regulations around taxis and um, payment for hire. Those have to be heavily regulated. But if you were to give someone a lift and make a profit, you could end up um, with a fine. So apparently it's fine to charge for fuel. But if you were to, say, take you know, £20 off your nan to drop her at, um, you know, at the hospital or at the shops, it could be classed as illegal. Didn't know that. Number eight, it is legal to enter a bus lane to move out of the way for oncoming emergency services. That's false. So if you've got a police car or ambulance or fire engine coming up behind you, you need to pull over when it's safe to do so. If you go into the bus lane, apparently that's not considered a reasonable and safe excuse. Number nine, it is illegal to tow a caravan in the outside lane of the motorway. That's true. And finally, number 10, it is illegal for you to get your pet out of the vehicle when broken down on the hard shoulder. Again, that's true. It can be classed under having pets under control in the vehicles and on the highways and motorways, etc. at all times. So it could be classed as um, there's many rules, I think, around it. So you could end up in hot water if, for example, the lead broke or something and it caused a problem on the motorway. So there you go. Um, I learned quite a lot putting that together on my own and I've been driving for many years. So uh, hopefully you found that fun. How have you got on? As always, let us know on our social media. Uh, use the usual hashtag, hashtag Jay's Virtual Pub Quiz or stick it in the comments down below in YouTube. I appreciate that because uh, we don't we get quite a lot of comments for, you know, let us know how you've got on. Uh, with the quiz tonight. So thank you again to the guys at Big Learner Relay and the team at Children in Need. Uh, the link, as always, is down in the description below. And yeah, so best of luck to them with their endeavours, with their fundraising efforts, etc. And a massive good luck to the guys and the, the whole team at Children in Need. Hope it goes really well on your fundraising night in a couple of weeks' time. 
that's it from me. Uh, as always, we're live on Thursday and Saturday nights, as you all know by now. And this is the beginning of the return of some of the specialist quizzes. I've got a Royal British Legion quiz coming soon uh, around uh, Remembrance Sunday. So keep your eyes open for that. And then over the next couple of months, we'll be introducing some more specialist quizzes. Thanks as always for playing. Thank you very much. Take care. And